So today I've brought you to Fort Rod Hill, which is a old army bunker converted to provincial park here in Canada shortly after World War II. I often come here to take pictures and test out the cameras and the phones that I'm currently using. And today we're going to be testing out the camera performance between the iPhone 7 Plus and the Galaxy S7. So, enjoy! So first thing I was excited to test out was the low light performance from both cameras while recording video. But I noticed right away that the Galaxy S7 is undeniably better at low light. There's much less noise in the shadows, not to mention any parts of the image that might actually have some light. And because of the S7's better low light performance, the image stays sharper and clearer, but like most cameras, it can only handle so much before it falls apart. I also found that indoor photos taken in moderate to low light turned out good on both phones, but the iPhone can tend to take the only light source available and overexpose it, whereas the S7 seems to recognize that and tries more to balance it with the rest of the scene. But at the end of the day, the Galaxy S7 is a few steps ahead of the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus when it comes to low light performance. Outdoor video recording on both phones is fantastic, and unless you're looking at video from both phones side by side, it can be pretty tough to tell the difference. But it appears the iPhone 7's white balance is still leaning more towards the warm side in most videos and photos, but the S7 seems to have the white balance on point. Colors seem to be more true to life with a tad bit more saturation, along with dynamic range being miles better than the iPhone in my opinion. Outdoor photos, again, from both phones look awesome, but again, more warm white balancing from the iPhone and some blown out highlights, but that's not to say the S7 didn't blow out highlights from time to time too. I just found that when inspecting those areas, I found more detail still being retained thanks to the high dynamic range abilities of the S7. Indoor video with not great but adequate lighting turned out more than acceptable images from both devices, but if you look closely, you can still see that the iPhone is producing lots of low light noise and loses some of its image sharpness as a result. But once all said and done, both phones have extremely capable cameras that perform either adequately or phenomenally in varying lighting situations, but I think it's safe to say that we can all agree that the Samsung Galaxy S7 has noticeably better low light performance, reproduces better colors, and has a much higher amount of dynamic range than the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. But I'm actually interested to know what you think, so drop me a comment below and let me know if you agree or disagree with me and why. Well, that's it for this one. If you liked the video, show me some love and tap the like button. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.